At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programmes offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. Public courses are delivered in London, New York and Singapore. Our teachers are leading experts in their fields with a wealth of practical knowledge. They are skilled communicators who can get the message across quickly and effectively. Dr. Alberto Cherubini has a wide experience in the banking industry, including roles as a trader and senior quant. More recently, he was head of equity derivatives exotic trading at Citigroup, where he had the unique experience of running a wholesale structured book during the severe market crisis of 2008. Once you start doing vanilla options on indices, uh, which were done at the very beginning of the option markets, you are somehow already doing an, a basket option. You are already thinking about the correlation between the component of that index. It is only a short uh, step then to do OTC options on customized baskets. Most of the multi-underlying derivatives uh, allow you somehow to trade correlation. It is a very interesting question though that has to be addressed and uh, in some details whether you are trading correlation or covariance. If you are investing in multi underlying products, be it via uh, simple, simpler one or, or complex uh, structure products, you are certainly taking a view on correlation. Equity effects correlation is, is a very important correlation and that arises also in very simple structures like quant forwards, quant to call options, even on single underline. The typical example will be an option on, for example, the Nikkei Japanese index where the payout is in dollar. And this type of correlation is reasonably easy to understand. Uh, but there are very large positions out in the market that uh, it's important to understand even if you do not trade these specific products because it does have impact on the way the underlying markets do. A dispersion uh, position is a simple position that can be taken with, with uh, vanilla option but it's Vega Dynamics, it's Vega it's not so obvious. It will depend on the type of correlation dynamics that is displayed by the market. Uh, this, uh, in the past, led both to large profits and large losses. With the regulatory changes, there's been quite a lot of focus on the dispersion trading now because it's simpler. This LFS course provides a solid understanding of the practical realities of trading correlation and managing correlation risk, covering equity and currency portfolios. Excel exercises draw heavily from real market cases and highlight the best practice used by top-tier firms. We will briefly revise single underlying derivatives to make sure that all the participants are familiar with the advanced concepts of single underlying derivatives. We've spent quite a lot of time on the most basics of uh, multi underlying derivatives, which are, which are options on baskets. This is because already with options on baskets, we can build nearly all of the interesting risk and the interesting dynamics uh, that are displayed by more complex exotics. This will lead us in two directions. One, which is the dispersion trading, so looking into dispersion trading in more details. And on the other end, it will open the door to thinking about correlation skew. We will find ways of analyzing correlation skew using simple back of the envelope formulas that already push us into creating a mental picture, if you want, of the different regimes of correlation dynamics. Then we will have to look and concentrate on the other key uh, multi-underlying products, which are the family of the outperformance, worst ofs, best ofs options. Uh, this type of multi-underlying payoffs introduce a different type of risk dynamics which are just not there in the basket options. Uh, then we, will, we can put everything together and start looking at the behavior of portfolios. 
This type of portfolio are still dominating the OTC markets in exotic options, in multi-underlying exotic options. And as such, they create, they create an imbalance in supply demands that we want to be aware of. And we will spend a lot of time talking about cross gammas in the course. There are some uh, misconceptions about cross gamma, about its impact on the theta of an exotic book and so on. We will clarify all of those and try to understand how your multidimensional exposure to cross gamma work and how it affects your trading positions. We have seen a range of delegates from junior exotic traders, so people that are already uh, running position with uh, um, correlation exposure in them, with cross gammas, uh, but they need to understand more. We will see the risk managers, we will see the auditors, we are seeing regulators from our members of central banks. On the buy side, delegates often come from, from the other point of view, the point of view of using multi-underlying derivatives, for example, structured products, but not only, it could be dispersion trading as well, simple vanilla one, to generate profits, taking a slightly longer term approach, happy to run the risk. Building your own self-confidence in understanding the modeling, the, mo the more advanced modeling issues like correlation skew, for example, correlation dynamics, uh, the dynamics of uh, risk on complex portfolios, we will be directly address issues like how do you mark correlation, how do you stress correlation, how do you calculate your cross gammas, and maybe most important of all, how do you build a framework where correlation is not a constant. We want to avoid the risk of uh, a bad selection of products, of an accumulation of uh, unknown risk in your book, be it sell side or buy side.